Here we go with another one. I'm about to give you my finger licking, lip smacking, fall out the bone, Korean barbecue rib recipe. Let's chop it up. Straight out the gate, we are gonna start on our marinade. In a blender, add half an onion rough chop, one scallion rough chop, one clove of garlic, and one apple rough chop. Add one fourth cup of mirin, which is Japanese rice wine. Add one fourth cup of soy, and then add half a cup of brown sugar. Add half a cup of water. And we'll black pepper and salt, and then go ahead and blitz. Step is optional. I like to portion my ribs before I cook them because it leaves it with a clean, professional look rather than cooking them and then cutting them and it looks super shredded. Thumb, I marinate my meats for a day, but if you're super hungry, go ahead and marinate for an hour. Next, we're gonna add a dash of Goya, a dash of pepper, a dash of cinnamon, a dash of garlic powder. Add a few tablespoons of sesame oil. It's totally my thing. I marinate my meat if I'm braising it in the oven, meat side down and boom side up, so that the uh, meat actually absorbs all of that flavor. Set your oven for 375, and we're gonna cook for four hours, checking every hour. While that's working, we could work on the coleslaw. Take a cabbage, cut it in half, and then cut it in half again. So you're gonna quarter it, and this is gonna enable you to take out the core. Make sure you have a sharp knife so you could actually julienne the cabbage or shred it really nicely. So just put it on the side to make it leveled, and then go ahead and cut away. I'm gonna share with you an industry secret. We use the Japanese mandolin on a lot of cuts. So we're doing our radish with this, and after our radish is cut and julienne, we're gonna soak it in some water to crisp it up. What I'm using here is a Y peeler. I've been using it for 16 years, and it's my favorite peeler. Now I'm passing the carrot through the Japanese mandolin, but mind your fingers, because that could turn out very bad for you. Next, take your scallion and slice it on a bias, which is just cutting it on an extreme angle. Before I start my apple, I squeeze some lemon in the water, and this keeps it from oxidizing. Same thing with a Japanese mandolin. Do your apple and rotate it, minding the core. Now, if you want to cut everything by hand, that's fine with me. I was just giving you guys a cool trick that we use in the restaurant. And I never leave anything to waste. When checking the ribs, I see how far the meat has pulled back from the bone and to see if it's still hard, like me. Let's go ahead and work on our dressing. One third cup of gochujang, one third cup of sambal, one cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of sesame oil, and then one squeeze of lime. One third cup of agave, you can use whatever you want to sweeten it up. Go ahead and season with pepper and salt. Go ahead and add some toasted sesame seeds and then whisk while you add your half cup of oil. Always remember to taste, because this is a part where you could fix what you're doing before it's too late. Now make sure your veggies are all drained, and then go ahead and toss it like you mean it. So about four hours later, rib check. Go ahead and glaze the ribs. Not giving you the sauce recipe, that's top secret. We're gonna place the ribs in the oven for 10 or so minutes till they're about caramelized. So final step, go ahead and tear it up. Thank you for watching. I am in your mouth. Don't forget to comment below and like and subscribe.